Today I got a video for you guys on uh, just talking Terrence Crawford and uh, you know, you know, I pretty much my opinion on Terrence Crawford, he's the most duck man in boxing, 100%. Um, I don't know why. I guess people are just too scared to lose. Even people that are, have already had L's on the record, I guess they just don't want to take another L and lose to Crawford. So basically, I guess this video is, is Crawford unbeatable? I mean, probably. And uh, yeah, let's just talk about it. Why am I doing this video? Because I gotta do videos, because I'm trying to get Kikande Miserara signed by fucking top rank. I'm gonna send him a video today, professional video, all with his information and his visa stuff and what we're trying to do. So yeah, I gotta get some clout on this channel. But nonetheless, yeah, I'm here to talk about Terrence Crawford because I was watching a video on Fight Hype the other day. Like last night, I was just watching like all boxing videos. I couldn't sleep, so I was just like clicking on interviews and shit like that. And then Regis Progress came up. I put a comment on it. It got a lot of likes. Like six. <laughs> this is the last time I saw. And I put Regis Progress versus Terrence Crawford. I said Progress versus Crawford. For the WBO, 147 pound belt. And then, you know, a lot of people like, let's let's make it happen. And the reason I put that comment, not because I'm attacking Regis or anything, but in the interview, Regis brought up that it's either between Mikey Garcia or Terrence Crawford to fight. And he was bringing up like the belt situation. He's like, I want a belt. And he's like, I'm staying at 140. I thought Mikey Garcia was at 147. I guess I'm fucking wrong. And I didn't know Mikey Garcia had a fucking belt. But you know what? The WBA and WBC, they're probably going to make some fucking fake belt up and then throw it out there. And then who gives a shit, right? But it, that, that, that's here nor there. But he said he wanted a belt. So guess what? You brought up Crawford. You brought up Mikey Garcia. Why doesn't Regis Progress just fight Terrence Crawford? It makes all the sense in the world. Regis Progress is big as fuck. I don't know how he makes 140. He's a big dude. He's 32 years old. And people gotta understand, the best guys at 140 are the best guys at 147. The best guys at 154 are the best guys at 160. The weight fluctuation doesn't mean that much, okay? It just, it's a good excuse for people to duck. And uh, you know what? That's the fight that needs to happen. Because, you know, if, if you know Regis Progress is about that life and shit, I mean, if he wants to make money, I think he makes way more money with Terrence Crawford. Because he gets that ESPN bag. And then he can get the WBO. And then when he's got the WBO, he can call it Earl Spence. He can make even... He can make more... If he beats Terrence Crawford, <clears throat> he's his career path and, like... The fi his financials will just, you know, he'll make more money in the next 18 months than he's probably made his whole career combined, I'm telling you right now, if he got that WBL. Because um, that ESPN money's real, but you know, if he's a free agent and he's just hopping around, he could even make more money too if he bets on himself like that. So all I'm saying is, why is everybody ducking Terrence Crawford? I know Regis ain't going to fight him. I'm just bringing it up. It's just hypothetical. I, I don't get it. Why did Sean Porter duck Terrence Crawford? You know, who's Sean Porter going to fight? Who's, who's Sean Porter going to fight? Really? I mean, what's next? He's going to fight Keith Thurman? Who gives a fuck? Hey, how about Keith Thurman fights Terrence Crawford? Like, you, these guys are telling... They're always talking like they're the best in this. And you know what? PBC's a fucking... It's bullshit. It is. It, I hate to say it, guys. But that's why I'm hitting up top rank for Kikande. Because I think Kakande right now beats everybody at 140 and you about 99% of the people at 147, including Sean Porter, Jamal James. Um, who else? Uh, that Mexican, Robert Garcia's guy, I think we beat him too. I mean, Jared Ennis might be a little tough test. But nonetheless, why am I bringing up Kakande so much? Because we had to fuck a fucking fight this goddamn weekend and then they raised the goddamn price up on us so I'm pissed off and then my goddamn podcast I put out I, I had to take it down because legally I had to take it down because I can't talk about legally his visa situation 
And I couldn't talk about the other things, and I have to redo the podcast. I'm having a long fucking month. A long goddamn year. But nonetheless, I'm here just like, who's going to step up to the plate and fight Terrence Crawford, okay? You know what? Nobody. He needs to either go up to 54, 60, or fucking fight Canelo at 68 and just throw it all on the to go all in. Who gives a fuck? Because I think Crawford beats Canelo. I think I think Crawford beats the Charlo brothers. Um, I think Crawford. Yeah, I, I I'm pretty sure he's just gonna beat everybody. That's probably why they're, you know, they're uh, not fighting him. I mean, <sighs> Pacquiao is fighting Earl Spence. Did that tell you something? That that tells me something. Because if I was Pacquiao's coach, and obviously he's gonna run, you know, for president. He's a senator. And it's not even, this is more, this is probably even less than a financial move than just Manny Pacquiao winning, in my opinion. Like, I think this is, I think Pacquiao picked, um, even if he would have got more money for Terrence Crawford, he probably would have picked Earl Spence for the simple fact is he wouldn't know how to prepare for, like, Terrence Crawford. At least Earl Spence, he knows exactly what Earl's going to do. All you have to do to go is prior fights to see what he's going to do. That's it. So, you know, hopefully Pacquiao can capitalize off that and um, take some jet fuel and just get ready for the fight. That's it. That's it. So, yeah, um, you know, you know who else I have a fucking problem with? You know who's the fucking, who I have a problem with um, is the LDBC. I mean, the LDBC is supposed to be this fucking pro-black organization, right? Um, Well, why aren't they giving any love to Crawford? I swear they're just always talking shit about him. Why is that? Because the LDBC isn't pro-black, they're just pro-PBC. And if you get in their way, they'll try to take you out. It's bullshit, dude. And it's, I'm not hating on the LDBC. I follow LDBC channels, I don't care. I called into barbershop conversations. I went at it with Fred a few times. Um, I, was, I won the debate. But what I'm saying is, it's just like, people think that Terrence Crawford doesn't have a name and he's not popular. Okay, great. Yeah, Terrence Crawford's only on Joe Rogan podcast. Terrence Crawford can't like just go into a restaurant and not get mobbed by people. I'm not saying like he needs security around, but I'm saying probably half the fucking restaurant will come up to him and ask for pictures. He can't go to the mall. He can't do shit. Like he's a popular dude. And if you even look on his Twitter and Instagram, it's the same shit. So whatever. We're never going to get Spence Crawford. Okay, I get it. So what's the next best thing? Crawford versus anybody in the top 10. Crawford versus anybody in the top 20, okay? Can, can we do something, okay? Can, like, I'm me personally, I'm just doing this shit because I'm trying to get Kakande a fight and I'm fucking out of the sport. Why? Because I'm going MMA. Why? Because they pay better, they got insurance for the fighters, and you know you're going to fight three to four times a year. And you, yeah, that's it. That's that's why I'm going MMA. I'm going to be signing MMA fighters. It's going to be a huge deal. International and shit. There's a few top people in the game that already know this. And I've already... This has already been a done deal. I've been only working on this for the last three years. But... Boxing's going like this. And MMA's going like this. Bellator and UFC are just fucking... They're going to take over. And the only reason boxing's got some kind of clout and name... It's because of fucking Jake Paul and Logan Paul. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? It's all over. This sport fucking sucks. And that's it. If these guys aren't going to fight each other, great. All these kings at 30 and 35 and 40, go fuck yourselves. If you ain't going to fight anybody, you're just going to talk, then great. I don't really care. It doesn't about, about matter, matter to me anymore. So there you go. No one wants to fight Terrence Crawford. He's the boogeyman of the whole not just of the whole 47 pound division, he's the boogeyman in boxing in general because he can't get a fight anywhere. And it's not cross the street bullshit, it's we're scared to cross the street. That That's what it is. So let's just keep it real, fellas. Let's keep it real, LDBC. And uh, man, I ain't got shit else. Boxing's fucking dead, who gives a fuck? Well, check out Kakande Mizarawa. He's coming up. Terrence Crawford's going down pound for pound in the history. Most duck fighter of all time. Peace out.